This video is about, ouch, um, FASCO part number 702110770. It's a type U21B, I think. 3275 RPM. Um, this is a blower fan for um, an A.O. Smith uh, water heater. Direct vent. And um, what I had to do was replace this bearing. It's a 608 SS. Um, I've got an issue with the fan right now. So I'm gonna take it apart again. I thought I'd bring you along this time. So I've got it off of the water heater. Next, there are four screws here, 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 and here. But I um, need to come off to get this plate off. There was some sealant on this plate originally, but I scraped it off because I need to get it out. It's just around the edge. Let's put it in. This has been running not long ago, so it's kind of warm. That's what that looks like. Inside you can see the fan. You can hear mine scraping right, right now. That fan's on there with a friction fit. So um, to get this fan off, I needed a Torx bit. There's a hole right on the side of the fan for doing cool stuff like running your Torx wrench into there. it up a little bit tight. I need to come this way. Now I should have no trouble. This is seated all the way at the bottom. The first time I took it off, it was a pain to get off of there. I had a lot of PB blaster and um, some heat applied to get that off. Same Torx bit removes these three um, screws there into the plastic in the housing. Uh, actually, they're into some pot metal in the, the motor housing.
there's a washer in behind these. Washer. attached to the um, controller with um, this and this should come undone uh, there's a little clip in behind right here I had trouble getting that apart so I pulled up the bottom and then lifted it out I would recommend against moving this motor fan. Uh, it is a press fit. You don't have to take it off to replace the top bearing, but you do have to take it off to replace the bottom bearing. So if you want to replace both bearings, you have to pull this off. Apparently mine has moved a little bit because it's scraping against the housing here. I can see the mark in it. Uh, less than ideal. So I am going to Push it down again. I have to get it off first. It doesn't seem to want to come off. That's the fan. This should spin freely. It's not spinning freely. It is when I do this. So now to get this off. piece of three inch plastic. Uh, this item is a reactor seal four inch ABS hub set. Uh, product number 97052. And I put the motor in here. This and I smacked on the top of that with a piece of wood and a hammer. Bang bang. Done. Comes out or this comes off. And then your um, your uh, rotor will be free. And getting this back on here is just a matter of pushing it back and then knocking down a couple of pieces on the side to secure it in place. This one's a little wobbly, but it's fine. Crimp this. This is a 10 mil socket, I believe. Stick that on there. This. If you push it down too far, it's going to run into the housing. So don't do that.
can see that it spins pretty readily. Um, I did not replace the bottom bearing on this. I should have bought two bearings and done both, but I didn't. Um, it's a press fit. So uh, in order to get the bottom bearing off, you're going to have to pull it. I did not pull mine. Anyway, that's the re reassembly is the reverse of what I just showed you. That's it.